Fire tonight destroys a church up in Alpha in Calhoun County. The flames started around 7 o'clock at the Page Pond Assembly of God Church on Murdoch Road. This was video sent to us by Stephen and Delinda Melvin in Calhoun County. They are residents there. Mr. Melvin's grandfather, they tell me, built this original sanctuary. The late Earl Sanders Murdoch, who is also a pastor. So while flames destroyed a building, it also destroyed a lot of history. News 13's Bailey Nichols is live on scene at this hour. And Bailey, what can you tell us about this fire? Yes, Amy, how are you doing tonight? I'm here with Chief Fire Chief Daryl O'Brien of the Clarksville Volunteer Fire Department. Chief, what's going on tonight? <clears throat> we uh, had a church fire this evening. started around 6.47 uh, p.m. That's when we got the call. And when I arrived within about less than five minutes uh, I had smoke coming from all sides of the uh, church and uh, when I pulled it backside started fighting it from the backside I knew it was going to be hard to uh, ex extinguish at that time and uh, so we concentrated my first two engines rolled up on scene we uh, started protecting the home next to it, which is joined to the church, which is called the Parsons, which is where the preacher and his wife and family live. So we was able to save that, keep that, kept that from burning. Had local folks here, lives the community, we went inside, was, was pulling everything, getting everything out of the house, to, just a precaution where we wouldn't lose any of the material or contents of the house in case it uh, caught on fire. So, you know. And about how many fire departments are with us tonight? We got eight, eight of my departments throughout the county, all with, and all all here with tankers and engines and all. So uh, the uh, first two of my department, my spawn was the first departments on scene. And then when I seen, I just started calling our dispatch and have them to page out uh, our other departments for tankers, because I knew the church being a big building, we we're going to need all the water support. Being in a rural area, we don't have hydrants out here so we've got to have all the water support we can get so okay. so we're gonna come back mm -hmm. all right Bailey I hope you can still hear me I want you to ask the fire chief a question for me I know that they just got this out and they've been working hard all night the heat uh, it's gonna be a hundred degrees tomorrow is this hindering or creating any kind of worrisome issues for firefighters when the heat is this bad and the weather has been so dry Let me ask that now. Ask him that question, yes. Yes. Uh, one question, Chief. Yeah. Uh, Y'all been working so tirelessly all night since 6 p.m. at night. Yeah. Now it's almost 10 o'clock. Right. And what can you talk about the heat and the dry weather? Is that affecting this at all? Yeah, the heat does. It causes the heat exhaustion with your firefighters. You know, us bunkered out in bunker gear, you burn out pretty quick. So we had a good amount of volunteers here tonight where we'll be able to swap in and out. Couldn't do it outside and keeping the, the joining two uh, houses, one on the north end and one on the south. Keep that from, from them burning and all. So, and of course, yeah, the heat plays a big part in it. And uh, the dry weather was able to contain it, not getting out above. Uh, like in the wooded area and all, so we was able to contain it from that. So, and any thoughts on this fire be smothered completely? Uh, it will we'll be here for a little while throughout the night until uh, uh, we per sure all the it's extinguished and all. I know it'll be an investigation. It'll be turned over to the state fire marshal's office and and all for uh, to see what maybe what how it started and all. So, thank you, Fire Chief O'Brien. I appreciate it, sir. You're all right, Bailey Nichols reporting live from the fire scene in Alpha up in Calhoun County. We appreciate the chief and all of the efforts of those firefighters on scene tonight. We'll have more tomorrow on News 13 this morning.